Signet Hospital Berry has two medium secure personality disorder wards for men, Madison Ward and Columbus Ward. The hospital is located in Berry, which is in the northern part of Greater Manchester. We accept suitable referrals from a range of establishments and services. This could be from prisons and other psychiatric hospitals, low, medium and high secure services. Madison and Columbus Ward, uh, they are similar wards in terms of the structure. Uh, they both have a um, communal area which consists of a TV area where our service users and staff can enjoy movie days and movie nights and they also have a um, games area where they can enjoy playing games with peers or with staff members and also a coffee and tea area. So this environment was created by our service users because they felt that it was just one big lounge. They wanted the environment to be an area which actually has different activities happening within the one space. We also have the occupational therapy kitchen and the activity room. Again, these environments were designed by our service users, so as soon as you walk in, you can see a service user signature in there. So in terms of decorating, in terms of what furniture goes into those areas, it's something that was co-produced by our service users and staff. We also have quiet rooms where our service user can actually go and relax and do mindfulness and meditation, or if they just want just free time away from the ward environment. And we also have access to the recovery college and the gym. We do have a therapy garden which was designed by our service users as well and they are also involved in the upkeep and the maintenance of that. We also have uh, paid jobs for our service users uh, so they feel that sense of achievement of actually going to work and maintaining the facilities that are also shared by other service users and staff. Typically we get individuals who present with uh, antisocial personality disorder, we also get individuals with emotionally unstable personality disorder. Uh, sometimes we get a, a mix of uh, personality difficulties. For example, we may get an individual with histrionic personality difficulties, dependent or paranoid personality difficulties. It's also important uh, to remember that uh, individuals come with uh, comorbid difficulties, for example, uh, difficulties with substance misuse, a history of trauma or abuse. They may also have mild learning difficulties, uh, a history of severe self-harming, uh, and generally their placements previously may have broken down for various reasons. The multidisciplinary team approach to the care of the service users is very key in terms of our service users' recovery. The multidisciplinary team for Madison and Columbus consists of the consultant psychiatrist, associate specialist, psychologist, occupational therapist, social worker, ward manager, nurses, our service users, carers and support workers. We also have access to a dietitian. We put a lot of time and effort into service users pre-admission. Um, transition is a difficult time for our service users, so making sure that they are transitioned uh, fully into the service is really important to us. Um, we offer a three-month assessment period where the service users come in from wherever they've been referred from. Um, we assess them, um, making sure that they're safe, the risk management plans are up to date, the care plans are collaboratively uh, completed between us and the MDT and the service users and then they enter a period of treatment um, and that can be dependent on their presentation, how long they're with us for. We try to treat any underlying uh, difficulties associated with the personality disorder, for example any psychotic symptoms, any depression and anxiety. Uh, we then work closely with the psychologists to develop uh, and formulate uh, care plans uh, and also work together in terms of what kind of therapy uh, the, the patient would require in terms of addressing their difficulties. 
We offer a range of interventions. Um, we always start with the formulation so we can understand our service users' needs um, and what their challenges and difficulties have been. So a range of therapies we might offer could include um, schema-focused therapy, we would include compassion-focused therapy, um, DBT skills, EMDR where that's needed. A lot of our service users have had extreme traumas in the past, so we'd always do some trauma-focused work to support people to achieve their goals in the future. And we offer a range of groups that are focused around supporting people with personality disorder. And we have a big focus on DBT skills groups uh, and we're introducing some compassion focused therapy groups. Uh, we would offer schema focused groups as well if that was needed, um, as well as other interventions related to offence focus work which we could offer in a group setting if that was appropriate. On Kailambas and Madison, um, we collaboratively engage with our patients to make an individualised therapeutic planner for them. These, these planners focus on three main areas and that is self-care, leisure and productivity. We provide a wide range of therapeutic interventions and activities uh, ranging from um, community-based and ward-based activities. Uh, on the ward we do individual cooking sessions, we do garden therapy, animal therapy, uh, woodwork, we have uh, Central Park where we guys play pool, we have ward bingo, uh, we have the recovery college, um, media suite studies, where patients can learn to develop their own music, and podcasts, etc. Quite fortunate to live quite close to Berry Town Centre. Um, it's like five minutes away, and it's like five minutes in the other direction. We have a fantastic countryside, which we enjoy out on leisure groups where we do walking, we go out, out for the day, fishing, uh, we visit the seaside, theme parks. I enjoy when I see the interpersonal relationships being built and trust being built that enables people to engage and ultimately recover and be discharged uh, back into the community or into uh, lower security accommodation. When, when service users are discharged, that's obviously a big um, step for them. But for me, it's the small steps in between. So they're coming in crisis. They come in, as we've said, the transition period is quite a difficult time for them. Um, and building up that trust with the team. Um, so when you hit that three month period where they've gone through the assessment and they go to the CPA and they're not looking forward to the feedback, because you know we do, we do have ups and downs within that three month period, but then realising that actually this team can help me, um, this team can progress me into a lesser secure service and, and seeing them realise that, that's, that's the heartwarming part for me where you think that's, that's me and my team that have done that for them. I think that Service users who come to a place like this, they're really in a bad space or at a bad time in their lives and I like to be something that's positive, a positive influence in their life. I like to have the ability to make them smile when they maybe aren't feeling up to smiling, to encourage them to engage, that there is still hope for the future, that um, they will be able to go out into, co into the community one day and reintegrate into the community as a contributing citizen. There's a lot of discourse around working with people with a diagnosis of personality disorders and for me the most rewarding thing about my role is actually seeing our service users changing that narrative and that discourse through the positive outcomes that they achieve when they come into us in a state of distress or feeling helpless in terms of where their care and treatment is going to actually see them achieving their goals and moving on through their discharge pathway is something which I find extremely rewarding and it's something that I'm really passionate about.